This is a story of an intersection between basic science and the clinic. Without discoveries being made at the translational level, research bench may have little relevance for developing effective therapies. This study was undertaken to fill up this void. In this invention, we provide a preparation of a biologically active plant extract from Dilbergia sisu or shisham. It's a standardized fraction and isolation of a novel pure compound for bone health, especially for osteoporosis and as a rapid fracture healing agent. Dalbergia siso was selected for osteogenic efficacy because its leaves contain flavonoid glycosides which are responsible for bone forming activity. Despite uh, decades of research from uh, the synthetic chemist, we are yet to have any drug for uh, fracture healing. CDRI has discovered from a natural source Dalbergia sisu extract from leaf is having uh, efficacy in fracture healing. Osteoporosis is the most common type of bone disease that weakens the bone as you grow old, making them most likely to break with bone fractures being the late changing events. Besides getting old, females are more prone and have higher risk for osteoporosis than men due to estrogen deficiency after menopause. Among the anabolic agents that are being used right now, teriperitide or PTH uh, is the only one that is licensed and is, has been shown to be efficacious. So I think there is a great need for newer anabolic agents, you know, which will not only help treat osteoporosis better and reduce fracture risk by greater than 50% but also help perhaps in fracture healing because even for fracture healing there have been some studies on PTH there is no real compound that has been shown clearly to improve fracture healing. To test this animal model for osteoporosis were taken because what happens in humans also happens in laboratory animals. Sprague Tolly rats were bilaterally overectomized to create a menopausal condition. One centimeter from the midline, an incision is made through the fascia, then as superficially as possible through the fascia, abdominal cavity is reached. Using the tweezers, adipose tissue is grabbed that surrounds the ovary and the ovary pulled out, cut and wound closed. Three months after ovarectomy, when bone loss has taken place, animals were orally treated with the Dilbergia sisu extract at various doses for three months daily. Formulating a standardized extract without toxic effect is an important step for the establishment of consistent biological activity and quality assurance. Various tests were performed to check the toxicity of the extract. We observed that a dose of 250 milligram per kg body weight when given orally to the rats was safe and most effective in imparting positive effects. The effect of oral treatment was validated with high energy, high resolution microtomography scanner to assess trabecular and cortical bone morphology developed for the analysis of bone morphometry for preclinical research. 11 megapixel X-ray camera gives an unrivaled combination of resolution, image field size and scan speed. Image field width up to 68 millimeters allows full body mouse and rat scanning down to 9 micrometers in vivo 3D spatial resolution. Precise measurement of biomechanical strength and toughness of the bones and femoral neck strength after treatment with Dilbergia sisu extract in rat shows improved bone strength parameters. Bone histomorphometry provides a method for examining both the properties and physiology of the bone. 50 micron sections of the bone tissue were cut after 3 months of Dalbergia sisu treatment. Histomorphometric analysis of bone formation such as bone formation rate demonstrates that the plant extract stimulated new bone formation suggesting its anabolic effect while the sections of the uterus denoted no estrogenic effect signifying its safe oral consumption. 
As the healing process involves newborn formation at the fracture site, we show that the plant extract obtained from the leaves of Dilbergia sisu consisted of a novel marker or a bioactive ingredient that promoted bone formation. Further, the standardized extract was evaluated for the use in drill hole model for fracture healing. A drill hole injury was made 1 cm above the knee joint by inserting a drill bit of diameter 0.8 mm in the anterior portion of the diaphysis of the bilateral femurs. In vivo regeneration of bone to monitor local repair process was done using micro CT. Mineralized callus appeared at defect and intramedular region of treatment groups as early as two weeks of treatment and the injury was healed. Overall, our studies show that oral doses of Delbergia sisu extract in the preclinical settings are effective in preventing estrogen deficiency induced bone loss. In this study we have taken a phytopharmacological approach to identify a bone forming agent. Um, being a phytoestrogen it mimics the hormone estrogen like effects in the body especially the bone but does not possess side effects like the uterine hyperplasia or the uh, breast cancer that happen with hormone replacement therapy. The good part is that the extract has been obtained from the renewable source that is the leaves and it can be consumed orally. Uh, with injectable PTH being the only therapy that is available in market at present uh, for bone formation, this extract with final confirmations in the clinical trials would prove to be a promising molecule for postmenopausal osteoporosis and also for fracture healing. I would like to congratulate each and every team member who so well was involved in its development and identification and preparation of this. This uh, standardized extract is promoting fracture healing in shorter duration. It is also offering uh, help to the patients and it will also be useful for the osteoporosis which is uh, like for those women, postmenopausal women who actually suffer from osteoporosis and their bone health also require to be treated. And we, we are very hopeful that this will be very useful product for osteoporosis as well. Confirmation of safety and preliminary efficacy of Delbergia sisu has been monitored in long bone fracture healing on humans. However, to rigorously monitor and assess its final outcome for postmenopausal osteoporosis, it is at present undergoing clinical trials.